G'day, Dylan here from the Byron Bay Observatory. I need to talk to you about something um, which is just embarrassing. It's embarrassing for me and it's embarrassing for Australia. And there's a lot of good things about Australia and Australian astronomy. We have the best view in the world. We have the best skies, we have the coolest targets. We have a pretty low uh, light pollution profile in general. And like I can buy Celestron stuff direct from the factory in China just by going through AliExpress. I don't even have to go through like a local vendor or anything. And don't talk to me about service because I can get that stuff for half the price it would cost from a local vendor. So I could buy two of them and just have one that was spare if I wanted to, but they do support their product and the shipping's not that bad because we're pretty close to China anyway. So while the rest of the world is having a trade war, I've actually benefited pretty well from the uh, current situation. But all of this aside, what I'd like to talk to you about is this situation with the Australian Dark Sky Association pushing this new legislation through, which you may have seen me mention on my social media channels. There is a petition, a new petition, and it's not like a GoFundMe or a you know, change.org petition. This is an official Australian parliamentary inquiry style petition, EN7346, National Legislation for Light Pollution Regulation and Dark Sky Preservation, which sounds great, right? It's the sort of stuff that's right up our alley as astronomers. We are kind of the main stakeholders, the main sponsors for this kind of a bill. Now ignore the fact that there's a spelling error in the petition request. <laughs> the actual petition is really well put together. And I'll tell you why. Firstly, let me just read you what they say. Light pollution caused by excessive artificial light at night, which they're abbreviating to Allen. I don't know what Allen did to deserve such an abbreviation, but we're calling light pollution Allen now. Uh, has harmful effects on human health, is harmful, disruptive to vulnerable species, flora, fauna, has negative impacts on the economy, including placing unnecessary loads on electrical infrastructure, leading to the increase in greenhouse gas emissions and climate change, reducing Allen not only helps to reduce the harmful effects listed above, but can also lead to benefits such as making streets safer by reducing glare and light trespass and increasing astrotourism. Now, notice in that wording that astro wasn't even mentioned until right at the end, and then they put it as astrotourism. What I love about this petition request is that they lead with the economic benefits. They lead with the wildlife benefits. You gotta lead with money right? Because this is the only thing that politicians understand. I did back of the handkerchief maths and even in my small local council, I reckon they would be saving hundreds of thousands or up to millions depending on the light pollution and electrical reduction measures they put into place. Now you scale that up to any big council or big state or city and we are talking millions, hundreds of millions or billions of dollars in savings every year across Australia just by turning the lights off after a certain time, whether that's uh, 12 o'clock at night, 1 a.m. at night, or having motion detection. So they're not just there burning all night long. The economic impacts of this alone should be enough to get 10,000 signatures on this petition immediately. And yet when I saw the petition, I saw it only had 3,000 signatures. I did a soft push on my social networks and that number went up to 4,000. So thank you for the thousand people who took my lead and signed this with me. However, why can we not get 10,000 signatures? We're only at 4,000. We've got two weeks to go. And I have, like, I'm not a big creator, but I have 55,000 people here on YouTube. I have 25,000 people on Instagram. And that's not even talking about all the Astro Societies in Australia. I know Astro Societies with hundreds and thousands of members. Why haven't we all signed this petition? Australians, even my American followers, if you're an American and you know an Australian, you need to shame them into signing this petition as soon as you can. Say, hey, listen, shit, shit. and if you call them shit, that's actually a term of endearment here in Australia. So they'll immediately be on your side. Just say, you need to sign this. I don't care who you are or what you do. This is totally uncontroversial legislation. Uh, no one's gonna call you a Nazi. No one's gonna call you a left-wing lunatic. This is not as sexy an issue as maybe stopping genocide or saving some exotic species. It's just very straightforward legislation. An idea to say, hey, Maybe we should just turn off the lights when we leave the room and maybe that would save billions of dollars. It's super easy. And saving the, the Milky Way, seeing the Milky Way, that's just the cherry on top. That's just the bonus that comes later. It would be nice for me as an astronomer to have that little cherry on top. 
But we really need to start thinking about this as common sense legislation for any country. And it's not unusual, you know. Have you seen North Korea from the International Space Station at night? North Korea is under sanctions, so money hurts. They need to save every penny they can. And so, quite simply, they turn off the light. I don't have any crime statistics for North Korea, but I do have crime statistics from London, where some London councils turned off the streetlights after a certain time at night. And you know what happened to crime? All the crime moved to those streets that had the streetlights still on. So don't let people get into an argument with you about safety. The data on safety can be quantitative, but we need more data and we need to start looking into this, which is why this petition and why this legislation is so good. So please, I'm begging you, there's no sponsor on this video. All I want you to do is sign this petition. And if you know an Australian, send it to them to sign it too, because this is not something that is political. It's not one side, it's not left versus right or anything like that. It's a very straightforward, common sense piece of legislation about just saving some money. And as a bonus, yes, we'll probably get to see the Milky Way too. Thank you for letting me rant. Look, I have been a bit absent on the channel lately, but I'm still shooting. Uh, the weather's been great lately. I've been shooting with the Skywatcher Strainwave 100i and my Aperture 75Q while I gear up the C14 for planetary season again, which is beautiful. Saturn's coming around. There's a lunar eclipse um, on Monday night. So there's a lot of good things to look forward to. And I'm just enjoying myself and enjoying astronomy without necessarily filming it all, all the time. I've just been enjoying it. And I have been posting all my work on social media. The last one was this one. which I think turned out pretty bloody good for a little uh, portable telescope, right? Anyway, that's me. Apart from that, I've got a new job. So I haven't been posting as much because I've just been busy with the new job, but uh, I have an employer now. I'm not going anywhere. I still have my digital agency and I still have this YouTube and astronomy and I'm just working a little bit more because I love money, but there might be a few less peepee -pee jokes, you know, because uh, I'm a respectable member of society now. So if you'd like some action on your polls, you need to sign this bit of petition, this legislation, this potential legislation, and let's just get to 10,000 signatures. It's only two weeks away. Let's do it. All right, my name is Dylan O'Donnell, and you've been watching me rant on Star Stuff. And remember, everything is meaningless, and we're all going to die.